We are now up to the portion of Vayigash and Bereshis. And this is a continuation of the episode of Yosef and his brothers. And to recall that what happened here is that Yosef insisted that they bring his brother Binyamin to him, and then he set up a plot where Binyamin was accused of being a thief, and he was going to therefore uh, punish Binyamin by making him his slave. At that point, Yehuda approached Yosef and said, no, uh, Binyamin is his father's favorite. We had another brother who was a favorite, but that brother died. And now Binyamin is the only surviving child from my father's favorite wife. We cannot go back without Binyamin. Let me stay here instead of Binyamin. I will be a slave to you, but let Binyamin go back with his father. At that point, Yosef uh, revealed himself to his brothers and he said, I am Yosef. A question has to, that has to bother all of us is that Yosef knew how his father must be in anguish, assuming that he was dead. Now maybe all the years that he was in prison, he did not have an opportunity to get a message to his father. But now he had been viceroy for several years. He could easily have gotten a message to Yaakov to say, I am alive. I'm fine, I'm in Egypt, I'm in good health, in fact, I'm a viceroy. Why did Yosef allow his father to suffer greater anguish when he could have put a stop to it? I think there's an important message over here. Yes, Yosef could have done it, but what would have happened? The whole story would have come out in the open that the brothers were envious, they wanted to kill him, they sold him into slavery, and now Yosef being the viceroy acknowledges that and he forgives them, which he would have done. And then what would have happened? For the rest of their lives, they would have to go around with their heads bowed to the ground. We are sinners. This magnanimous brother of ours who is now the viceroy, he is so magnanimous that he forgave us, but they would have felt like nothing. And Yosef said, I have to give my brothers a chance to be able to walk with pride and dignity and self-esteem. I have to give them the opportunity to correct their mistake and redeem themselves. And this is where Yosef's wisdom came in. Yosef had been the favorite as the child of Rachel. And in Yosef's absence, Binyamin became the favorite. So Yosef devised a plot where he would keep Binyamin and see how the brothers react to that. Would the brothers say perhaps, well, we got rid of one pest, Yosef, and now here's this other kid who's a brat, and father's favorite, Good, let Joseph keep him, we'll go back. But instead, the brothers acted differently. Instead of being envious of the favorite child, they defended him. And they said, no, we will stay. Yehuda said, I will stay as a slave. Let the boy go back. They corrected their mistake. And once Joseph saw that they had corrected their mistake, and this was the ultimate teshuva, the ultimate atonement, and the ultimate repentance, where they were faced again with the same kind of temptation to commit the sin again. But this time they acted differently. And Yosef said, all right, that's what I wanted. Now you can know that I am Yosef. And why did he allow his father to suffer for 22 years? Here is an extremely important message. Yosef knew what Yaakov really wanted. He knew that Yaakov would accept suffering in order to allow his children to redeem themselves and to be able to have a feeling of pride and self-esteem. He knew that Yaakov would have gone along 
with his design to give them the opportunity to correct and rectify their mistake. This is how important self-esteem is. If there's one author who says that if you've given your children everything but not self-esteem, you've given them nothing. But if you've given them self-esteem, you've given them everything. And the only disagreement I have with that is that I don't think you can give your children self-esteem. What you can do is act towards your children in a way that they can develop their own self-esteem. Make it possible, encourage it, but you can't give it to them. And what Yosef did was he provided a scenario where the brothers could develop their own self-esteem. Something so important that he knew that his father would willingly accept the suffering in order that the children should be able to have a feeling of pride in themselves once again.